What compelled you to accept your worldview and your view of the Bible, and at what age did you become confident about it? Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> And how old are you? <laughs> well, I think you can't get away with not yet. So, though I want to be I want to be careful here. The word confidence is sometimes heard in a kind of arrogant or brittle way, and confidence has at its heart the the, the fid bit, which is the Latin for uh, belief or trust. So, um, as Paul says, we are not confident of in and of ourselves. Our confidence is simply in God. Um, and that's a way of saying, I'm not sure I've got this all together, but I think God has. Um, I, I had the fortune to grow up in, in a very understated but practicing Christian home. Typical British thing, we didn't actually talk much about it, we just sort of did it. Um, and then when I, was, when I was about 11 or 12, somebody told me that it might be a good idea to read the Bible every morning, and I thought I'd try it and see what, it, what happened, and I've never seen any reason to stop. So, I mean... And, and, but, and that has then grown, and there have been big crises, there have been crises where the way I thought I was construing the biblical worldview suddenly would implode and didn't make sense and resulted in all sorts of hang-ups and, and depressions and things, which drove me back into bits of the Bible that I hadn't really focused on before. Um, I never actually lost my confidence in it. I lost my confidence in my own grasp of it. I knew that there might be something there which would help me through, and that may happen again. But, uh, so it's a journey. As I said, the Bible itself is a journey, so one's life with the Bible is also a journey, and it's a journey of trust, not of a brittle self-confidence. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.